Public education transformed my life. That is why I want to be your next school board director. As a child of working class immigrants, I started school as an English as a second language student. It was a public school teacher who identified my hearing disability and got me the support I needed to fulfill my potential. My family takes great pride that I am the first woman in my family to graduate from college. Seattle Public Schools can do better. The talents and commitments of our teachers, principal, and staff are there. I see it every day as a mother of four current and future students, PTA president, and member of the Superintendent's Parent Advisory Council. We must support them with a budget and board that reflects our values. We can simultaneously tackle equity, academic quality, and operational efficiency so that our students are thoroughly prepared, be it career, college, or community. I bring a diverse background and professional skills in finance and operations that are needed to better support our district. As director, I commit to establishing mental health as an essential service to re-engage students who are falling behind, especially after the COVID-19 pandemic, making tangible progress on inclusion and academic outcomes, securing needed transportation and assistance for families, hiring a superintendent with a strong vision for our district's future, and diving into capital and operating budgets to ensure equity and spending accountability. I'm honored to have the endorsements of The Stranger, the 36th, 43rd, and 46th District Democrats, National Women's Political Caucus, One America Votes, Alliance for Gun Responsibility, Fuse Progressive Voters Guide, State Senators Reuven Carlisle and Jamie Peterson, Representative Jerry Pollitt, King County Council Member Jeannie Cole Wells, former school board directors Betty Patu, Eden Max, Sue Peters, Michael DeBell, Rick Burke, Kay Smith Bloom, and others. And I'd be honored to have your vote.